So let's look at some common fractions. And common fractions you may have to just get to know. First of all, let's just look at one, a whole. Any number, any whole number can actually be a fraction. If you put that number over one, it's a fraction. So we can make almost any number as a fraction. That's something to, to be aware of and get to know. But also half, we just see in yellow here. One half is something you should get to know and be, become familiar with. And then also here, one third in green. And over to the far right, one fourth. You're gonna see this a lot. So as you start to work with problems and work with things, you wanna get familiar with certain fractions you're gonna see over and over again. They're gonna be really common for you to see. One fifth is something you might see quite a bit in a number of different ways, especially when you get to decimals. And then at the bottom here, one six, you can see that. And then you see one seventh in blue. And, and it's kind of showing you that fractions can be broken up in any number of ways. I can have one twentieth, I can have one hundredth, if you will. And in fact, a lot of our things are in, in, in hundredths. But fractions can be broken up in any number of different ways. And you should come to get to know some of the more common fractions and also become used to the fact that anything can be broken up in almost any different way, way you want to. If you have a whole, you can break it up in almost in any different way you want to.